Hey hi welcome in this video i will show you how to create bi reports with parameter in previous video i have created one bi reports without parameter so let's begin and we'll show you how to create reports so first for creating reports we need to navigate reports and analytics so for click here go to tools and you can click here reports and analytics once you will click they will get option for creating the bi reports so as i have already created the query so you can see that just click here and click on that report because i have to create reports it will open a new tab and now what we need to do is that we need to create the data model so cancel here click on cancel and now click here for data model because we need to create new data models right so here i have to write the query so just click on this plus icon here select sql queries select anything i have given the name as test you can select whatever you want now you we need to paste sql query here so i have created the query you can see uh, this query earlier in earlier reports i have same this query use same query so i have copied this query sorry mm, i have copied to query and you can see that in this report earlier i have not mentioned the parameter but now in this query i have added one parameter that is p underscore inv org so this parameter will be same as whatever parameter we will create in data model i will show you so uh, in bi reports when we are creating parameters in code we are using same parameter with one column right so i will use same query and also if you see i have restricted the result is less than 100 it means that i need to report result only for 100 lines i have restricted this because that when uh, i execute the query it's giving too many records but in uh, yeah so let me paste this query here so let me just click on ok if i will get any error it will show so now i have added one parameter right if you will see here because of this I have added this parameter in our query it reflect here and is it says that please create one parameter so i will select here and click on ok now it's you can see that it's reflected me here in parameter tab so now i have to create parameter so parameter name is same as in query i have used and this is the type of parameter so my parameter type if i can select a string integer or whatever so let me select a numeric so integer and parameter type text box menu we have different different sub parameter right so if we will select text it will be free text right if we will select menu so it will show drop down menu to select the parameter value so in next video i will show you how we can create a parameter with list of values or drop down menu right so let it okay and here if you will tick here mandatory so while running the report it will be mandatory to insert the value in parameters so let me click here and this is the display level it means this parameter will reflect while running the report so i will say enter here inventory org right so here we can select the size of this text box parameter so let it be same now what i need to do is that here if you will see this is our my query if i will go in data part it will uh, okay so first what i need to do is that this is my query this is my parameter now i have to save this data model so just click on this save here earlier i have used one folder so i will create this report in same folder inventory item status and i will give this name for inventory report p so now my query is saved so just click on data it will show the parameter you can see that inventory org and here it, it star because while creating parameter i have selected that is mandatory so once i will select here values 001 sorry 001 and will click on view it will show the data related to only this inventory so okay so what was that value let me see let me check somewhere i have written right so it's showing error if you will see it's saying that invalid number it means that whatever parameter we have selected it is an error so i have selected parameter type as integer 
by mistake because that parameter type is in a string so I have to select a string now click on save so while creating parameter be careful about all these things right so I have selected a string as a parameter now save go to data set again and just now click on view so now I have selected view as 4 so now it will show me the data let me check everything is fine yes click on ok save go to data click on view so now you can see that it's showing data right so click on table view so if you will see it's showing inventory organization code as 4 this all data related to inventory organization 4 so if you will see we have transaction id at 81071 if i will change this to 001 it will change the transaction details and all these things related to that inventory only so my inventory organization is 001 and you can see the transaction id is, is different different so this is the way we can create the report with parameter so now what we need to do is that we need to save this sample data we need to create a layout rtf template and attach the rtf template with this data model so in previous video i have showed that how we can do the same so let me show you in this video also right so for creating report template you have to create uh, export this simple output in xml so that using this xml you can generate the report so suppose uh, you have to use all this column in xml template to generate so if you will see i have already created this template right so i will not create this template right now this i will create separate video for creating a template so right now you can see that this is my templates i will upload the same template with this data model so now what i need to do is that i need to click on this create report So once you will create the create report, click cancel here. I don't want to. Just what we need to do is that we need to upload the RTF template here. So just click in here, give the layout name. So uh, what was the name earlier I use? Let me check. So name was inventory report RTF. Inventory rpt underscore p because it is for parameter so here i will upload the rtf template so here i have created template i will select the type at the rtf select location english united state upload now what we have to do we have created the layout right so this is the layout and now if you will not select the data model it will show error right so first we need to select the data model so just click here in search icon and select the data model for this layout so this is my data model created with underscore p just click on ok so now this layout is added by that uh, data model so i need to save this layout so just click here I will save with the same name so that it will not create any confusion and now what we need to do is that we need to do setup related to a setting related to report output so if you will see right now it will show output as XML XML we can change as PDF and whatever we want so if you can see right now we have only five option right so these all five option coming from here output format so we have selected only five here so if you will select here suppose excel from here this excel and now it will reflect here you can see that excel html right so just click on this save and now click on view report so you can see that i have created this parameter as mandatory that's why it's showing a warning here click on ok insert the value suppose i will insert 001 and click on that apply once you will click on that apply it will generate the result or generate the report output you can see that this is our report output so this is the way we can create bi report with parameter if you have any query you can just comment below i will try to reach you and try to uh, solve your query whatever you will post over there thank you so much